The Moses Lake Chiefs are pounding the hardwood as they prepare for their opener against Kennewick December the 5th. I had a chance to catch up with Coach John Holman to see how things are coming together. The Chiefs are looking to do something that hasn't been accomplished in more than two decades, make back-to-back -back trips to state. Moses Lake finished as the number four seed out of the Big Nine Conference and district runner-up to Wenatchee last year. The Chiefs advanced to state for the first time in 22 years, but were bounced out of the first round by Richland. Moses Lake lost some key contributors off last year's squad, but the Chiefs do have big Caesar Sandoval and Tyson Karstetter returning, along with wingman Mitch Holman, who is deadly from three-point range. Coach John Holman says he's excited to get things going. I'm looking forward to the season. I think, you know, these guys have, you know, they had a great summer. We, we got to do some really neat things uh, as a team and go down to California, which was awesome. Wenatchee and Davis are expected to be among the top contenders in the conference again this season. Eastmont is loaded with talent, too, and will give teams a run for their money as well. Holman said he believes the Chiefs have the pieces in place to compete for the league title this season. And in doing so, punch their return ticket to the big dance. We always do. We always do. That's why we come to work. You know, and these guys work hard. It was a dismantling in Spokane last night with Gonzaga crushing St. Joseph's 94-42. The Zags scored early and often in this one, jumping out to a 48-10 halftime lead. Gary Bell Jr. led the way for the Zags with 18 points. He made five of eight shots from behind the arc. USC transfer Byron Wesley had 12 points and six assists for Gonzaga. The 52-point difference was the worst defeat in school history for St. Joseph's. The win gives Gonzaga 28 straight home victories dating back to 2012. Bulldog freshman Domantas Sabonis continued to impress with 10 points and 11 rebounds in only 19 minutes of play. Gonzaga will look to keep things rolling Saturday hosting St. Thomas Aquinas. The number two ranked Afraid of Tigers take on Squalcom in a semifinal state soccer match at Shoreline Stadium Friday. The team will advance to Saturday's championship game with a win. This is the deepest postseason run for the Tigers since Afraida brought home fourth place hardware in 1999. Lions Field will be the neutral site for three fo state football games this weekend. Okanagan takes on Davenport Friday night at 7. Royal matches up with Colville Saturday afternoon at 1. And Ellensburg and Prosser go at it at 4. We'll be right back after this.